Hi, I'm David Gross with Condi Systems, back with you to talk about a new edition of products for our GX7000 printers and also the GX5050 and the GXE3300. And that is that if you happen to own a bypass tray for any of those printers, and I think the bypass tray is, a, is an excellent accessory, it's inexpensive, and on the 7000, it allows you to load 13 by 19 paper, which for those that are doing sublimation, that's a favorite paper size for us. Well, the bypass tray can do one more thing that maybe you didn't know about, and that is we can use it for feeding banner paper. So a new product here at Condi Systems is selling roll paper that is cut to a 13 inch width. And we'll also have a product for the other printers that's cut to an eight and a half inch width. And what we can do is we can peel off um, a banner strip of this paper and then we can feed it through the printer so that we can do banner related items like, for instance, neckties. And neckties are becoming very popular and they're a great product to do and they're easy to do. And obviously if we print a long print then we can pro-spray our transfer and then we'll put our tie down and then we can, can move the tie, tie through the press in sections. So I know I've thrown a lot at you all at one time and we're going to break down the pieces and, and talk a little bit more. But the first is to understand that the Rico driver, um, when we're using it with our ICC profile, we can select the, as a paper source the bypass tray. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in and create a custom paper size. And the paper size is going to be this width, which is 13 inches. And then the length that the driver supports is about 50 inches. So we can actually get this printer to print a 13 by 50 inch print. Isn't that amazing? Okay. So I can't think of all the uses that we would have this. A necktie is obviously one of them. I'm sure you folks out there can think of other uses of why you'd want to print such a big print. Um, but at any rate, we're going to provide you with that means to do it by offering this, this roll of paper. So what I've done is I've already cut my paper. I've cut my paper to a, a 50 inch here. It was, you know, obviously really easy. And we're going to load it into the printer. And uh, you probably, while you're doing this, you'll probably want to have somebody to hold the paper in place um, so that it doesn't fall out because it will fall out the back. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to turn our attention to the computer so you can see what we need to do to take advantage of this 13 by 50 inch paper. Okay, we're going to go to our printer folder and we're going to right click on our printer which is the Gel GX7000. We're going to go to the last tab, which is Printer Configuration. On the Printer Configuration, over here on the right, you're going to see Custom Paper Sizes. We're going to go there. And we're going to choose a custom paper size here to redefine. So we'll choose that one. You can see where we've defined the 13 by 19, the 11 and 15 ounces. We're going to choose that one. Down here, we're going to choose as our paper source, the bypass tray. Okay. Now, if you'll notice here, these are our maximum dimensions, so the maximum dimension you can have for the banner is 51 inches. So we're going to type 50 inches into here. And for this dimension, we're going to type the maximum for the short edge, which is 13. And then we're going to name it Condi Banner 13 by 50. Okay. We'll go down here and hit OK. And then we're going to hit Apply. We're going to go back to our first tab and make sure we stay with our Condi ICC settings. So that's what we want to start with. Condi ICC is the way we define our print quality and our color mode for the driver. So we'll hit apply. Okay. Now we're ready to head to Corel. What I've got open here in Corel um, is my, um, my tie uh, right there. We've got, got it open, my St. Patrick's Day tie. My dad was um, a St. Patrick's Day child, so that's it. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to print it. So the first thing we're going to do is go up here um, to File, and we're going to go down here to Print Preview. And then we're going to go to Settings, go to General. And we're going to choose our correct printer, which is GX7000 Demo. 
hit apply and our changes back. Then we're going to go to properties here and we're going to go to the second tab which is page settings and we're going to do a pull down here and we're going to find our Condi banner paper which is right here, it's, it's towards the bottom. And you'll note that this diagram here on the bottom now shows that our paper is coming out of the bypass tray. So that's a good thing. All right, so we're going to hit OK. Hit Apply. All right, now we want to flip it, and we flip it with the, uh, on the, on the pre-press tab mirror. And um, hit Apply, and we're, we're good to go. So we're just going to hit OK. And obviously we didn't take up all the page, but we took up a good portion of it. And so let's go ahead and start printing it. So we're going to go File, Print This Sheet Now. All right, we're, we're ready to print. Um, if you go ahead and send the job to the printer and the paper is not in there, which it wasn't when I sent it to it, all you have to do is go ahead and put the paper in like I'm doing now. And then to tell it to resume the print job, you push the form feed key and then it will resume. And as you can see, it's printing fast. Uh, it shows you exactly how the banner feature works. So there we have our banner print, and we're ready to go to our press. For this video, we're not going to actually press the tie, but to, to make it simple, we pro spray the tie, lay the tie out, and then we press it as if we would press any other polyester kind of product. This has been David Gross with Condi Systems. I hope this has been informative. I hope this helps you make more money and, and get a, a better investment out of your printer. Till we meet again, thank you.